Hey guys, so today as requested I'm going to be doing my partial makeup collection slash what's in my five drawer Muji storage system video. I actually already have a makeup collection video up on my channel. I will link to it down below and annotate it for you guys and I think I did that two years ago but I am in the process of trying to get a vanity set up. I want to really change my storage because I hate how it is now. It is the same way as in that old video. Until I get my whole vanity set up, I'm not going to do a whole makeup collection but I recently purchased just from Muji, one of their five drawer acrylic units. So I'm gonna take you through what I keep in there, what I think about the unit, if I recommend it, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so here is my Muji drawers. It is basically the five drawer set. Um, this one doesn't have the top that lifts up. I believe that is a, only the three drawer. Um, this five drawer set was $24.95 and I will leave the direct link to it in the website. So basically this, I purchased this to keep um, new products in that I don't have space for in my regular storage setup or I use it to keep new products or I keep products in here that they may be old but I just if I decide I've gone through my big makeup collection and I've seen certain products that I've been neglecting and I should probably use again I put them in here because I will see them and then um, I'm kind of going to be rotating this out and I need to get some brush holders for this section in the middle so tell me where you guys get your jaws because I already bought like some stones from Michaels to fill up the jars with for brush holders so tell me where I can get brush holder containers so first of all right next to the drawers I just keep some everyday essentials so I have the four foundations that are in rotation I have the naked skin foundation by urban decay which is actually a third of the way gone now I have this one here one of my holy grail foundations that's been discontinued the YSL taunt resist I have makeup forever HD foundation the classic and I'm also currently using the covergirl outlast stay fabulous and then behind that I just have like my Urban Decay setting spray, the all-nighter spray. I have some MAC Fix Plus, just the classic MAC Fix Plus. I have the serum I'm currently using at night. It is the Bioderma Hydra Bio Serum. My newest thing, the Strobe Liquid Lotion by MAC that you guys just saw in my video. This first drawer right here, I'm gonna open it up. It's really kind of an essential drawer. Right here I have my fan brush by Laura Mercier. The back, this is my NARS um, pressed setting powder. I've been using this quite a lot lately. I have my two Laura Mercier powders that you would have just seen in my haul video. The highlighter is more easily accessible and then the Ritual Bronzer. I have my Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. This is my favorite, favorite bronzer. It's amazing, I have a backup of it, but I use it for my contour. It's matte and has no shimmer. And then underneath that, I have these Boschia Green Tea Blotting Linens. I have the Hourglass Number 28 Serum Primer. This is the travel size one. And I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. I'm also right now using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. The shade I like the best is the Very Fair shade. I have a YSL Touche Eclat. This is number 3.5. I really like this. And then I also just keep my NARS eyeshadow base pro prime in here because this is what I use as my eyeshadow primer every single day. Okay, so moving on to the second drawer as I open it. This just has a bunch of random stuff in it. Um, ooh, see the drawers come all the way out. I don't think I mentioned that. As you can see, you can lift the drawers all the way out. So in this second drawer, I have um, my three Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, and then I have two MAC blushes, the ones from the Temperature Rising Collection. And then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Brush. Hourglass Ambient Powders that I have, this one here is Luminous light and it is basically the one with the most shimmer in it. I'll show you these because I don't think I've shown you them yet. This one is great if you want a more summertime glow. Then we have my favorite. This one is in diffuse light. I can't remember if I showed you guys this one. And this one is the pale yellow tone. It gets the most use for me and it's really just super brightening for your complexion. And then in the back is the one I don't really use as much. So I just have it scooted back there and it is dim light. This one is a more beigey neutral tone and it just doesn't brighten my face as much. It still offers a nice effect, but that is dim light. So moving on, this third drawer right here is an eye drawer right now. And as you can see, it's a mishmash of things. So on the left hand side, I'm keeping eyeshadows that either are new. These two ones in the front are my Tom Ford eyeshadows. You have Pink Haze, and then I have it in Escapade right here. And I also have my Urban Decay eyeshadow in Snatch that I'm loving. You guys saw that in my recent haul. And so those are the three new eyeshadows. I also keep my Lorac 3D Liquid Luster in here. 
But in the back there, these aren't nude eyeshadows. These are three Armani Eyes to Kill eyeshadows. They're my favorite ones. So I have number 24, which is just this dark black base with bronze shimmer through it. Number 27, Oxidized Silver, which is another favorite. Number 28, Red Platine, which is a mixture of like red and gold, and it basically turns into a rose gold color. I also keep this little really cheap Sally Girl. Um, it's a baked bronze eyeshadow. I saw this in a tutorial on Jessica Bersiaga. This was 99 cents at Sally's, but it's super, super pretty. It's one of my favorite shadows, so I keep that in there for a smoky eye. And then I also keep this Armani. This is my regular Maestro eyeshadow in number four. I keep this in here too, just because um, I bought this last year and I think until I moved it into this little moody drawer, I hadn't used it. Other things I keep in here are Benefits Eye Bright. I use this as a brow highlight. I keep the two mascaras I'm using. So I have Sephora Lash Structure and the YSL Shocking. Um, two Armani eyeliners here. These are just their waterproof eyeliner. And I keep my Laura Mercier caviar sticks also in here. So I have Sand Glow, I have Orchid, and I have um, Amethyst. Next up, we have the blush drawer. And this one isn't very full. This is why I really need the deeper three drawer unit because right now, this is about as much blush as I can fit in. And you can see there are gaps in the acrylic and I can't stack things, otherwise it's too tall. So in here, currently I have my my three Lorac um, Bake Matte Satin Blushes because I'm pretty obsessed with these right now and they're new. Also up in the front, I keep the Christian Dior Rosy Glow Blush Compact, but I keep it in its dust bag. Back here I have the MAC Royal Sunset Blush from the All That Orange Connect Collection. And then these two here are Kat Von D blushes at the back. You probably won't be able to see them very well. But you guys saw these in my last haul. They're super pretty packaging, nice and square, so they just fit nicely at the back. Um, the last drawer here, sorry, just holds lip products for right now. I'll open it. This one is kind of a hot mess, but it's going to be changing very, very soon. So let me open this one out for you. <laughs> Five MAC lipsticks. These four are from All About Orange, and then this is the Riri Woo. These are basically my brand new MAC lipsticks. I really like to keep my lipsticks in these acrylic containers here. So this one, I have two of these, so I need to go ahead and buy two more of these. These each hold 18 lipsticks, which is pretty good, but I've just run out of space. This lipstick right here is 3N. It's also by MAC. It came out in this limited edition packaging at some time last year. I have the MAC Soft Serenade Lip Gloss from the Temperature Rising Collection. Um, lip gloss will probably stay in here more so than lipsticks because all my lip glosses um, that are in my regular makeup collection are just all thrown in so I won't be able to see them. This lipstick here is by Hourglass. It's in the color Grace. This does not get talked about a lot, but I love Hourglass makeup. I have one lone Rouge Without Shine. Again, this will probably go in the acrylic container. My only YSL Golden Gloss in the color 50. This one is a Lancome Rouge in Love lipstick. This one is in Coral in Love, again. I also threw in here, you can see two Tom Ford lipsticks in the old packaging. If we open this further out, there's some more things back there. So I have Another MAC lipstick, this one is a Blaze. I have OCC Lip Tar in Hush. I have another MAC lipstick. This one is one of their Mineralized Rich. I have yet another MAC lipstick. This one, again, was thrown in my lipstick drawer and I forgot I had it. I thought I lost it again, but it's one of my favorite lipsticks. So until I get an acrylic drawer, it's going in here. It's the Viva Glam 2, definitely a holy grail of mine. This is my second tube of it. We just have three other lip glosses because they won't both fit straight up because these ones are too long. This one is a Gloss in Love by Lancome. I showed this in my last video. Stila Liquid Lipstick in Bellissima, it's a gorgeous peachy pink. And then also the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Jeffrey Bright Coral. As you can see, the Muji drawers, when I go through it, it does fit a quite a good deal of stuff, but I would like it probably to fit more. Would I recommend these? Yes, I definitely would, because even though it's not as deep, it still fits a nice amount of makeup in it. And the acrylic is really well made. It's not like that cheapy plastic. So I do think the Muji ones are definitely the best crafted and aesthetically pleasing. All I really need is to know where I can get a good vanity mirror, and then I will be able to buy all my vanity stuff from Ikea and then just put the mirror on top of it. So please let me know vanity mirror suggestions because that's like the main thing I'm having trouble with. But so that is it guys. I wanted to show you what was in these, what I think of it, and you know, just give you guys, I know you guys like seeing kind of a makeup collection, so just give you guys kind of a sneak peek into some of the stuff I have. So yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.